Hi, it's Ryan here with Man's Defense. Today I'm here to talk to you about the First Spear AEC Plate Carrier. This is also known as the Salter's Armor Carrier, and it's very similar to its brethren, the Strand Hog. Uh, I had a friend that actually had one of the Strand Hogs, and because of that, I was dead set on buying one after I'd worn it a couple times. And then when I saw that they had released this, I was like, man, this thing is pretty sweet. And so I decided to hold out, and I finally saved up to buy this bad boy. The AEC itself is 514, comes in black, Cody Brown, Multicam, or Ranger Green, as you can see here. Uh, what's nice about the AACs is that they feature a breathable mesh. Um, they're supposed to be a little bit more lightweight than the Strand Hog. Uh, it's still using the same tubes technology, the same laser 612 technology. Um, it's also obviously made in the USA. The plate carrier itself is set to take either swimmer, e-sappy, or spear cut plates. Um, it's, it's set that you can either A, run just hard armor, or B, you could run hard armor and soft plate inserts. Um, so there are technically, I guess, like four pockets on the inside of this thing. The cummerbund itself is large enough that you can run either hard armor side plates, soft armor side plates, or you can run radios in there, or you can run extra magazines if you really wanted to. Um, as you can see on mine, I've gone ahead and mounted uh, in a double stack fashion. I've run G-Code uh, soft shell scorpions in the back, and then the pistol pouch version in the front. Uh, realistically, if you're going to run this with a belt, though, you could probably ditch the pistol pouches on the front and just run the rifle if you want to have a little bit more of a low profile. Um, on my carrier, I've also added the admin pouch. I've also added a... Um, a hook and loop fastener on the back that way I can put any sort of patches or whatever might be um, designations on there that I want to. What's unique about the 612, uh, First Spear claims that it has better fabric flex than your standard uh, like Molly that you would see. Um, it is much more lightweight. I will say that the first time I picked it up I noticed that it's much lighter than your standard uh, Cordura style plate carrier where they're using, you know, obviously it has to be heavy duty and you don't want it to wear down very fast. So because of that you have to make a sacrifice, right? For the longest time the sacrifice was, do I want something more durable or do I want something slick and lightweight? So by getting this, you're getting something that's lightweight. Um, obviously, it's not a super slick plate carrier. Um, this is going to be more in line with something like a uh, Mayflower um, from Velocity Systems or like a, like your APCs, LEPCs, um, something from Eagle, etc. Um, obviously, there are other ones out there that are a little bit slicker, such as your Ferro Concepts, your Blue Force gear. Um, and I know like they even have a couple low-profile carriers that are meant to be worn under jackets, etc. like that. Um, so this is more or less kind of kind of just like a go-to, I feel like. Um, obviously, in previous reviews that you had seen from us, we had talked about low-profile versus like your standard like larger, bulkier carriers. Um, but this one has seemed to be the happiest medium so far for me. It's not too slick where I don't have enough spots on there for everything, um, where I have to you know, stick everything on Velcro. Um, but it's also very quick to don on and off. The tubes technology, the way that works is, if I wanted to take these straps off, all I have to do is pull on the tab, yank it off to the side and it comes right off. If I want to reattach it, all I have to do is bring it up, push it back into place. It's very nice, it's very easy. Um, they seem very durable as well. Uh, the reason that they were talking about using this technology is that obviously we're all very familiar with hook and loop fasteners, Velcro. Um, we understand that one, it retains water, it retains mud, it retains dirt. It does not always, it does not always provide the best uh, adhesion if it's not in prime condition, right? So if you guys are out there and you're running and gunning during your classes or you're using this for other work, obviously if you're going to be getting down and dirty a lot, maybe this might be a better option than just using your standard Velcro cover buds, etc. Uh, when you talk about the Velcro though, uh, it does wear out over time, um, right? Because the more that we use it, you start to see that, like it pills up, right? It's the same thing if like it were to hook onto a shirt of yours over time or if it's rubbing against it, you start to see it pill up. Well, both of those will start to wear away. The tubes will not, so that's a really unique feature. Um, let's take a look at some of the other stuff on the inside. We're gonna go ahead and pull the plates out. We're gonna take the pouches off, and then we'll reassemble this bad boy, and uh, we'll, get, we'll see what you guys think about this. Defender armor, uh, level three plus. These are, the dimensions are 13.25 by 10.25, and then the carrier itself is an amphibian size large. Um, the cover one I'm running right here is actually a medium, though. These should look a little familiar. Cry precision for some of the hardware here in the back. These are the low-profile padded sleeves. As you can see, they have something going over top here to help retain it all. If we can weave this one back, we'll do this one. This one's a little bit easier right now. So as you can see, there's Velcro up here, the 612 tube. The sleeve just comes over top to keep everything covered up. Protected. As you can see here, I'm using the G-Code hardware. These are the R1 paddles. That way it mounts the soft shell scorpions onto the plate carrier. 
it is easier without the armor on the carrier itself. Just come in. Pop these bad boys through. Bring them all the way down. That's it. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. Alright guys, so thanks again for tuning in to check out our short video on the first Spear AUC plate carrier. Um, just to let you guys know as well, this is actually the first Spear uh, mid-layer. This is the mid-shirt ACM. Um, this is in manatee gray. It's super comfortable. I wear this thing all the freaking time. Um, I had a medium in charcoal that I really liked, but the large uh, kind of seems to give me a little bit more flexibility, a little bit more relaxed of a fit. Uh, the medium would probably go really well when you're wearing body armor. Um, anyways. As always, thank you guys for checking out our video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, share with friends. Let us know if you have any feedback for us. As always, guys, I'm Ryan with Manus Defense. Stay safe. Shoot straight.